Oh no guys, I've got some bad news. People's limiteds are dying. Look at his tweets from Waffle Trades. He's a limiteds YouTuber and his square waffle top hat died recently. So as you can see here, in loving memory of the waffle top hat, God rest his soul. And not only that, we also had another YouTuber's limited die recently. Highly wanted, another trading YouTuber. His Hot Jams headphones died. So in loving memory of the Hot Jams headphones, rest in peace, this was a cool item. Okay, yeah, I was kind of joking there, but you may be wondering what the heck am I on about? Why are these YouTubers limited items just randomly dying? Like, what does that even mean? What's happening? Well, pretty much, guys, there's like this sinister sort of team of traders. I guess they're trolls, really. And their main mission is to like completely devalue any limited item that they can get their hands on, especially the ones that YouTubers own. So yeah, it's very strange. This is actually a well-known tactic in the trading community called LPP. I believe that stands for lowest price possible. And yes, let me explain how this works and I'm also going to tell you guys why it's kind of crazy. So starting off with waffle trades item, this is the square waffle top hat. It's 20k now? No way. I remember this thing years ago. It always used to sell for like 200 robux or something. But yeah, it's a kind of classic item. It's kind of cool in a way. It's a bit strange. I kind of like the strawberry and banana texture though. That looks very classic. Yeah, a lot of people love this item. It's kind of old. It's kind of classic. Even though the best price is 20,000, wait until you see the wrap. Yeah, the average price is 3,700. And if you're wondering why, well, it's because it got LPP, the lowest price possible. And if I actually go on the price chart here, you can tell recently it sold for one Robux a couple of times. And I'll explain why people are doing this in a second. But yeah, they're pretty much just trying to destroy the wrap or the average price. Yeah, I was talking about the hot jams as well. This is highly wanted, like sort of exclusive item, or this is what he wears on his character. It's like his signature Roblox accessory, right? So apparently, Apparently they got the wrap on this down to 20 by doing the exact same thing they did on the waffle hat. Again, this item is kind of old. It came out in 2014. 15,000 robot, well, basically 16,000. This one is cool. I really like this limited, actually. It has probably a cheap UGC alternative, but I don't know. It looks cool. So even though it's selling for 15k, the average price is 7,000. Because like I was saying earlier this year, not too long ago, it sold for around one robot several times. And like I said, guys, there's like a small team of people. Well, we believe leave it to be a team, which is actually trying to do this. At first, guys, I had no idea how they were doing this. I replied to Highly Wanted. This was around February now, so quite a while ago. I said, did they sell for 10 Robux or something? And he said, yes, 50 times. Now I thought, how is that possible? How did they sell this thing so cheap so many times? Well, Lucas figured it out. He said they were sold back and forth for one Robux between two bots over and over again just to destroy the wrap. And we can see here how many times they were sold between these two accounts. And look at the wrap, right? So we can see here, it's already low. It's at 127, but it just keeps on getting lower as they buy it back and forth. So it went down to around 20, 33 wrap, which is just absolutely insane. Now, apparently the guy that was doing this was saying he was going to do it to any limited he got hold of. Like I was saying at the start of the video, very strange. It seems kind of pointless, but yeah, if that's what they want to do, I guess they're kind of proving that the Roblox wrap system is not very good. You know, anyone could take advantage of it. But even so, I still wonder why why they want to kill off all these items so badly. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, quite a few people told me they were mainly doing this to troll Highly Wanted, which kind of makes sense because it was his item. Obviously, they want to do this to YouTubers so YouTubers can make videos about it. A lot of the people that do this kind of stuff simply want publicity. Anyway, the main reason why I'm making this video is because it happens to an item which I own, and I'm pretty sure this destroyed my account's rap well, especially my James5 account. Look at this, guys. The floral dress has has been LPP'd, lowest price possible, from 724k wrap to 851 wrap. That's basically nothing. Now honestly, we think here they were targeting Coded Cosmetics because she had 269 of these dresses on her account and that caused her to drop over 200 million value. I believe she had something to do with making it, which is why she purchased loads of them. But we can see here basically, yeah, the wrap's 851 and she lost her spot on the Roblox wrap leaderboard. Here's another tweet also from Roblox Training News. And yeah, so she went from 201 million value to 7.5 million. To be honest, I doubt she probably cares too much. Wait, I'm just trying to think. In that video, was she beefing with Linkmon before or Linkmon was beefing with her? I definitely made a video about Roblox Limited Leaderboard Wars. Maybe I'll just check quickly. Yeah, four months ago, it was with her and Linkmon. Honestly, guys, I don't really know why anyone would care about this leaderboard. It seems kind of childish to me. I don't know, though. It's 
myself to then. You know what though, I was just thinking, I don't really think they could do this to me because I don't really wear any limited items. I mean, I've got this item on my James 5 account, the Vans skateboard, but I don't really care about it. Plus, it's only selling for like a thousand Robux. Let me join Trade Hangout. I bet my rap is just so bad right now. If I remember correctly on Trade Hangout, doesn't it come up with like minus points or something so you can see how much you've lost? Yeah, my rap has definitely gone down a lot. So if I go on users, my item. So yeah, the dress is nowhere near the top. Is it down? Oh, there it is. 851 rap. That is pretty bad. Now, honestly, guys, the only way the dress could go back up is like if people were to buy it. So I guess these sort of trolls are really proving that the Roblox valuing system is not very good. Pretty much anyone could sort of manipulate it and ruin it. One thing I'd like to say, though, is if this does happen to a limited item you own, I honestly wouldn't worry too much. Sure, the value is going to show lower and maybe you're not going to be ranked so high on Rollymons. But then again, most people don't really care about that. Also, the price of it isn't going to go down or anything. Well, as far as I'm aware of, I guess it is a shame that they're doing this. They are technically ruining the item a bit, especially when trading. Maybe somebody might actually trade something away by accident when they thought it was cheaper than it actually is because of the wrap was so low. So yeah, I guess just check out your items and see the actual price before you trade them because wrap is not really that useful anymore. Anyone could just modify it. Also, before we end today's video, I just want to say, guys, be very cautious and careful with the trading community. A few years ago, I had quite a few of them after me. I think it was for my videos on limited items. Actually, it might have been one year ago. And honestly, guys, for like, I don't know, maybe a whole week, I was getting spammed with like fake Roblox website links, the viruses, all types of terrible stuff. There's a lot of weird communities on Roblox, but the trading one is definitely one to avoid, to be honest. There's a lot of scumbags, scammers, and just damn right weirdos. But there we have it. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want to, guys. I'll see you in the next one.